better, better vlog. Hey, hey, what you doing? I'm better vlogging. Hey, what you watching? You watching better vlogging. Better vlogging. Yeah, we watching better vlogging. Better vlogging. You should be better vlogging. Hey, what you doing? I'm better vlogging. Hey, what you watching? You watching better vlogging. Better vlogging. Yeah, we watching better vlogging. Better vlogging. You should be better vlogging. I know. I um I had a really good meditation today, but before I start with my Veda vlog, I'd like to know this is my dedication to my little sister right now. One of my little sisters, Alexis, and I'm sure this was Simone's time also, generation. So let me make this quick dedication. Um if you know the words, sing along. Don't front. If you have little siblings or maybe this is your generation, then you know you know the words. It came on today and I remember and I realized I know some of the words. And so it goes a little something like this. Barney is a dinosaur from our imagination. A dinosaur sensation. Barney's friends are big and small and come from lots of places. We meet for Dancing with happy faces Like how to pray pretend ABC's and one, two, threes And how to be a friend Barney comes to play with us Whenever we may need him Barney can be your friend too If you just make believe him Isn't that cute? That's my little sister song, man Man, we used to have to watch Barney so that was my dedication quickly to Alexis. I heard the song today and thought, whoa. Um, but don't take me out of the kitty corner because I was watching Curious George before Barney came on. Anyway. Uh, uh, VetaVlogging.blogspot.com is where I'm going to be posting all of my vlogs. I think I'll keep doing this Facebook thing until um, you guys get used to the other site and come on over there and if when you start commenting over there I'll know you're over with me and also I'll keep using the Facebook site until um until they change the terms of use again I think depending on how hard or easy this uh, this becomes because I'm able to you know what I realized I'm able to embed the videos from Facebook to my new site but they're still not saved on my computer well, I learned iMovie yesterday, and I'll figure something out. Nevertheless, um, very... My phone is ringing. It's ringing for someone who I asked to call me back in 20 minutes. And, and it has been 20 minutes. And I'm vlogging, so... Um, okay. Now, I was going through... Okay. I want you guys to know that this is this is Veta vlogging about topics that could seem random at times or um, usually are from the top, you know, or I have an idea of what I want to talk about. But I want you guys to know that this is not um, just about me. It's not. I want, and I, and I believe this is what I'm doing because of the response I'm getting. But I want you to feel differently when you watch a VETA vlog and um, so Monday Tuesday Wednesday I've been fasting for three days my best friend um, just making sacrifices to really try and get closer to God so no meat lots of fruits and veggies and fresh juices only a hundred percent juices or fresh squeeze and so I'm doing really good and I feel really good but if you know me or not, you can see me. So if I fast for the next three weeks the way I've, I am, even if it's just eating healthier, I uh, will disappear. So I'll be working out and, you know, really, well, I am working out, but I'll be really, you know. But this meditation that I've been in and the prayer has been um, magnificent for me. Um, so I want to say a little bit about me because that is a request. Okay, I'm an Aquarius. I say that because it's important to me. 
whatever it means to be an Aquarius, I'd love to hear your opinion. But I believe the sign I'm most compatible with is Gemini. Uh, my boyfriend in high school was a Taurus. And the two relationships that I've had outside of high school have been with other Aquarians. Um, let's see. My first relationship with an Aquarian lasted almost four years. And it was everything you would expect two people like me to be but with our own individual differences because we're still people we're still our own people um, so it was it was it was difficult um, and good if that makes any sense but when it was over uh, one of the times that it was over because I believe this could was it I don't think this was actually it but one of the times that it was over, it, I, I was devastated. And um, I was like, uh, hmm, kind of in a dark place, but just literally. You know, my apartment, I, I had to have my curtains closed. It had to be dark in my house. Um, I didn't take that many phone calls. I um, wasn't really uh, productive, as productive. I was always writing and doing small jobs here and there, but I was never as productive as I could have been. I was um, very, very, very emotional when I was alone. I would find secret hiding spots to be emotional, even if I, if I happened to have been in public when I wanted to cry. Um, this is just, I'm talking about the breakup, not just the relationship. I mean, I don't want to make it seem like the relationship was just horrible. But the breakup did this to me. Um, because when you break up with someone you really, truly love, it's hard to feel like, um, and you don't know if you want to be back together with them. So your emotion, sometimes people break up and their emotion is coming from the fact that they want this person back. You know, my emotion was coming from confusion and the idea that, oh, I don't think we can be back together. I don't think this um, is healthy for either one of us. And that hurt because the love because the love was absolutely there. And that was very confusing. And I was younger. And um, when I'm 80, I'll always say younger, not young, because I'm always going to be young. But um, so I say that to say that I had a friend and this is not a movie. Nor is it a fake, uh, <laughs> a fake vlog. So I don't know if I have to have permission to say people's real name, like Jeremy the other day. But I had a friend. I do have a friend, Michelle. She's also an Aquarian in Atlanta, and she helped me through a lot of the emotional part. I was able to like cry with her over the phone, um, along with Jennifer, and just able to cry and be, be me. But she said to me, you know, at some point we have to love the things that hurt us love the people who hurt us when she said it that hurt me but it made sense I was um, needing to love love the pain and I learned in that week in that moment since then how to love pain which is what we talked about when I talk about um, making use of our struggles but really how to love the pain I say that to say that at the same time I learned how to uh, choose my own happiness and I spoke to that ex I mean we speak a little bit more often now but I spoke to that ex uh, when we first started to speak again just a couple months ago and I was told uh, that if they could choose their happiness then obviously they would but obviously but they can't and it made me realize oh okay we're still very different I have learned, I have, I am proof that you can choose your happiness, you can decide, you know what, I'm just going to be happy, I am going to recognize, list, and um, receive all of the things that make me happy, and I am going to work diligently, steadfastly, um, consistently.